Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go over a couple of tips and tricks to customise your announcement bar in Squarespace. Okay, so let's say you've got a really, 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 really important announcement that you want to make and you don't want anyone to accidentally shut the announcement bar down. So, first thing we can do is to prevent that happening. So let's dive into Squarespace and we'll, uh, we'll take a look. So first off, we need to activate the announcement bar. So to do this, we go to design, announcement bar, and then we just enable it. And you can see it's popped up at the top of the page now. Um, I've already put a little bit of text in it earlier, and I've already changed the font. That can be done in the style editor. So we're going to save, come back to custom CSS. Now I'm going to use developer tools in Chrome. Um, Firefox has the same thing and Safari does too, but Safari, you have to actually activate it first. So I'll leave a link in the description on how you do that in Safari if you're using Safari. Um, but basically we're going to right click on the X and inspect. And then if it's not selected already, we're going to make sure this styles is selected and then we want to get this dot square space announcement bar close and then copy it and we go to our custom css and we're just going to paste that in there and then a couple of squiggly brackets and then we just want to put display colon none and save and it's as easy as that removing the x so there we go, no one now will be able to close that announcement bar down by mistake. So the next thing we can do is put a call to action button in the announcement bar itself. So quite simple to do with a little bit of CSS. If we go back to our announcement bar section. Now we can make the whole announcement bar clickable, but we don't want to do that really. We just want to place a link in here so we can make it into a button. So we just make a bit of space and we'll put our button text. We'll highlight that and then insert a link. And we can send this to anywhere, to an external site, to files, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to keep it to the content of my site and hit save. And we'll come back again. So, so you notice now we've got our link and it's been underlined. So first thing we want to do is remove that underline and then we will turn it into a button. So. Again, right click on the link and inspect. And again, down to this styles and we want to get this SQS announcement bar text A. Click on that and copy it. And then we'll come down a couple of lines in this custom CSS and paste squiggly bracket. And we'll go text hyphen decoration. colon, none, exclamation mark, important, and then we'll put a semicolon. So we just click over here away from this. Now you can see the underlines being removed, so now we need to put a border around it. So we come down a line, and we go border, colon, solid, 2px, semicolon. Now this 2px refers to the width of the border around the text, so the higher the number, the wider the border is going to be. So if we go with 7, you can see it's increased. So let's just keep that a 2 for now, and we come down the line. Now we want to adjust the padding around the text as well, because it's all a bit crammed in there, isn't it? So if we go with padding, colon, 6px, space, 10px, space, 3px, space, again, 10px. You can see now that that's balanced out around it. So basically this 6px, this first one, is the space between the top of the text and the border. And then it comes around anti-clockwise. So this 10px is the left pattern. 3px is the bottom pattern. And then finally 10px, again, is the right pattern. So you can adjust all this to get your button exactly how you want it looking. Another thing we can do is to just round the borders off at the edge as well. So we can go border hyphen radius colon and then we go 
three px. You see that that's rounded the border off slightly. So again, higher number you go with this, the more rounded the button will become. So if we just put a 20, 23 px, you see that the border is rounded off. So once again, it's just a case of getting it to your liking. And the final thing we can do is to just make the height of the bar a little bit bigger. So again, if we just right click on the bar, inspect, and square SQS dot SQS announcement bar dot dash text dash dot no whatever it is we'll grab that again over to custom CSS paste that in chuck a couple of squiggly brackets in and we'll just go padding colon 20px and save shut that down so you see it's created a bit of a bigger announcement bar let's put this button in and we've removed our close announcement bar button thing so just gives you a bit of variation of what you can do with the announcement bar instead of having a so there we go that's how to customize the announcement bar slightly um it's only a couple of little tips but hopefully it's give you some ideas of things that you can do in the future on projects that you're working on so hope you found this video incredibly useful after i just said that I can't remember whether I did. Well, anyway, hope you found some of the tips useful. If you did, please leave a like below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya.